Hey there folks, welcome to part 2 of my Stardew Valley Expanded Mod Guide. I'm still in the mountains, I'm ignoring the smoke that's coming from Susan's house that's irritating my eyes a little, and I'm hanging out here amongst graves which have been put here for people who used to be in the Adventurers Guild. Really nice touch, it looks like the Adventurers Guild is going to get expanded in this expanded mod. Let's take a look at uh, this sword by here. You are about to pull a sword out of the ground, but you realize you should respect whoever laid their weapon here. No, I don't. It's probably worth money. Stop making decisions for me. Okay, I'm gonna take you guys up to a new part of Stardew Valley that's been brought in by this mod. It was actually in the early game for the true Stardew Valley base game, but it was never fully implemented, but it has been now. Let's go check it out. Wow, this is really nice. I gotta say I like this place quite a lot. Apparently there's quite a few cutscenes happen here. There's a gravestone by here. In loving memory of Isabel, beloved wife, mentor, and adventurer. Hmm. I wonder if that's Marlon's wife or something. Telescope by here. This is a thing. Yes, a thing. Look at the skybox. The skybox moves. That's amazing. Stardew Valley looks incredible from up here. What a spectacular view. Well, I have to agree with that sentence because, boy, I sure like this. Moving on, the uh, mountains has received something of a facelift. There's a, definitely a lot more trees. Not sure if there's a more of a defined path. And the back path that leads back to your farm has been uh, done up quite a bit. And this handy little shortcut here added so that you can take a much quicker route past the bus stop, I would imagine. The desert here has been massively expanded. It's huge. I've heard uh, quite a few NPCs talk about a new village called uh, Castle Town that hasn't been implemented yet. And uh, the Oasis is here. It's been pushed to a different position. And the entrance to the Skull Cabin is actually in different places as well. The beach has been given a marginal facelift. Elliot's cabin's got a bit more decoration outside. There's no doubt more little details hidden around for you to check out. The most prominent change is the fact that you can actually walk off to the west here and walk on to the new vineyard. This could be considered to be some kind of shortcut, I suppose. Get you over to uh, Cindersap Forest a bit quicker. Now, speaking of Cindersap Forest, boy, are there a lot of changes here. Look at it. Marnie uses this tiny crop field to grow trellis crops during spring, summer, and fall. Bonnie's ranch looks really different. There's a silo here. You can actually read the silo. There's a new shed here. Cheese presses. Looks like this is used to make mayonnaise. Shane's chickens produce high quality eggs that get turned into mayonnaise. Bonnie has a shed here that you can actually enter. It has opening times. Uh, there's a new cutscene in there. We'll explore that in a different video. Let's head down this way. Oh, look. There's Andy. He's a new NPC. He likes Jojo, he's got a Jojo hat on, kind of grumpy. And down here we have Leah's house. Leah grows her own food, how resourceful. It's Leah's boat, oh, so Leah has a boat, that's cute. Let's head down here next, follow Andy back to his place. So many changes down here. Okay, so this is where Andy lives. Got his own crop here. This is Fairhaven's crop field. This is Fairhaven Farm. Doesn't look like he's doing so good. Off he goes. He's gone inside there. And he's residence. Fairhaven Farm. I'd consider him to be competition, but given that he likes Joe Draw, I'll let him off. Okay, so this area here, heading off to the east, this takes you off to the new vineyard, which, as I mentioned earlier, you can also get to from the beach. The sign over here. Pelican Town, Fairhaven Farm, Blue Moon Vineyard. That, yeah, the Blue Moon Vineyard's over there. This is Marnie's crop field. More crops from Marnie there. Various crop seeds are in these crates. You notice Pierre's general store logo on all the seed bags. Marnie doesn't shop at Georgia for her seeds. Well, she should, because Pierre's a scumbag. The Wizard Tower has got ancient fruit outside. Looks like he might be trying to grow them. Giant cauliflower. You think to yourself that maybe, just maybe, there's something magical about this place. Haha, <laughs> very funny. Okay, so deeper down the forest here, you find that uh, there is actually a new area to the west there. Another huge piece of uh, woodland to explore. We'll take a look at that in just a little bit. Okay, so heading over to the Mouse Hat House. 
see that there's been a fire pit added. I believe this is where Andy hangs out. Spends most of his time. There could be other cutscenes here. I've yet to explore that yet. It's a nice addition. We've really broadened the map here. There's, there's a hell of a lot more trees. Oh, what's this over here? We got a little gravestone. What's a grave doing all the way out here in the forest? Very old and faded. The descriptions are impossible to read. You notice an arrow pointing down and to the left. Guess this must be for a secret area or something like that. Yep, definitely looks like a secret woods or something. It's nice that there's a cutscene to introduce it. Must be a pretty significant place or something like that. And with that, we move on to the new areas that have been added with this mod. Starting with this place, the uh, secret woods, the south woods. Something of a maze to it. Oh boss, am I glad to see you. I've been lost in here for days. Shut up, I'm trying to make a video. And they said to here, there's a Junimo village where you can like buy stuff, the museum, all sorts of rare items. It's really useful. Okay, so let's explore the west woods here. The additional piece of land over here. Wow, a lot of trees here, a lot of terrain to cover. Feels huge. Let's make our way over here. Think of all the wood you could actually get from this. I mean, like, I guess it's a little bit like cheating, but there's still a lot of wood for you. The Dawkins residence. Aurora Vineyard. Looks like this place has seen better days. Looks like it's probably abandoned. There's the actual building itself, the winery. Uses the texture from the winery mod. Let's go in. Well, it's a pretty freaky place. Really overgrown. I wonder what happened to the owners. Oh look, there's like a Junimo panel here? The golden paper is bright. Someone or something left this here. There's a tiny picture of what looks like the community center in Pelican Town. So this must be like an additional feature for people who've completed the community center. I don't know if this has been implemented yet. Seems like this could be a video in itself if it has. Doing up the old winery here could be really fun. Oh, and in the far west of this outdoor map here, you can find a bear in a cave. He'll sell you honey and all sorts of really handy stuff. Isn't that neat? He's the bear from that cutscene thing that happens with the maple syrup. So this next area is a path that takes you over to a different town called uh, Grampleton, Grappleton, something like that. Didn't quite catch the name properly. But as soon as you enter the area, you get an immediate hard event with Lewis where he basically tells you that you can do what you want with this plot of land. So I've gone ahead and uh, created a nice little Joja public space here if people want to grow parsnips or something like that, something that doesn't interfere with the Joja products that we sell, they can. Nice little place I built, eh? Get that Joja spirit in your heart. We got soda machines up there. What more could you want? Okay, now let's go check out that winery I've mentioned a few times now. We'll get to it here from uh, the Cindersap Forest. Sophia's residence, Blue Moon Vineyard. Looks like we got ourselves another competitor for Georgia Farm to worry about. We ain't really making wine at the moment. Maybe we should stop making wine. Grapes are cleaned and stomped in the stone well. They are then placed in kegs with a special wine yeast to ferment. Blue Moon Vineyard turns all the grapes it harvests into wine. Some of these kegs ferment for months while others ferment for years. Yeah, this place is a real threat to my business. Let's go inside anyway. Open door. Apparently Sophia's not around as well. What's this on the table? Steven Galaxy Volume 5? I sure don't really know my comics. Go in here. The little uh, textiles room here, fabric room. Sophia likes to uh, just stitch and stuff. What a massive house. Oh look, Sophia's got a bathroom. Possibly one of the only bathrooms. Sophia plays with toys when she takes baths. Seeing the toy sailboat in the water fills you with determination. To be honest, I'm filled with more confusion because, like, why Sophia got a bathroom and I don't? Okay, let's check out Sophia's room. What's this on the floor? Oh my. It's a really long piece of text. The gist of it is that Sophia's parents are dead? Apparently I shouldn't have read that. Well, you know, maybe don't leave things like that lying around in your unlocked, empty house, I guess. Oh hey, there's a cellar down here. What was down here? Oh, so this is where they they actually aged the wine. Sweet, yo, but that's a lot of barrels. This place is no joke. Oh, these aren't kegs. They're casks. And there are so many of them. These have been fermenting wine for a long time. 
Sophia must be making Blue Moon Vineyard's trademark Iridium quality grape wine. Damn, there's some real money in this place. Maybe I can take it over and run it for myself. I'd be making a killing in here. Given that she's not around, maybe I can just buy it? What's this note? Wow, yeah, they are making a lot of money from this operation. This is a definite problem. This is definitely very interesting. I should take this place over for sure. Another locked trap door. Are the owners of these buildings being abducted by someone? Did I do this? Oh no, my competitor's house has blown up rather randomly. Fancy that. What are the odds? Thanks for watching this video. Pop Freeze coming your way real soon.